Hey guys, Lemon here. We're playing the new King's Bounty, Bounty game, Dark Side. So I've enjoyed the previous games. Um, this one pretty much focuses on the evil side. So you're now representing evil instead of good. So here we go. It's gonna play on normal for the time being for the first run. Generally, so this is like a warrior class. This is like a hybrid, and that's the mage class. Um, I don't normally play mage or any kind of game, but this is an exception. So, uh, MV code lemon. Appropriate. For an emblem. Da, 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 da. Oh, there we go. Tree. Lemon tree. How we go? Continue. So, for those of you who don't know, this is a. This is actually like a remake of the classic game. Um, it is tactical, but it's what I enjoy about it. I want for reading, so let's just do what we need to do. Uh, da, 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 da. A weapon. So the the skills here. Obviously, magic is my build. Um, the reason I like it's because you don't have to trade off units if you play it well, whereas with the warrior class, you generally, unless you you get later in the game with tankier units, you tend to lose um, units early on. So, just gonna have a look at the skills here. Uh, I think early intellect would be useful. Um, if it's anything like the old one, it'd be every six intellect you boost the power of your magic by quite a bit. So it looks like I can cast Poison Skull four times each battle. Anyway, let's see. And so you can press D for dig. So I'm just wherever I run, I'm always gonna dig. Um you never know what you could find. Okay, I gotta talk to this guy maybe. I don't know. Yes, so I get vampires. So check in the health. 70, 40, 36. Okay. So in battle, what I will generally want to do is get my vampires to tank the hits. Um, mainly because. What the hell am I meant to do? Mainly because you don't want to lose any units. Oh. I'm retarded. Collect some eggs. On the mini map, you see these little yellow things. They're just marks on the map for you to collect stuff. Um, actually, the important skill I forgot about is actually in mind scouting. So what this allows is actually you to see what troops are in there. See, there's little question marks, but for now, if it's weak, I'm quite certain I'll be able to kill this guy. So let's go ahead and fight him. A new unit, novice. So keeping in mind, because I'm undead, healing it can actually hurt me. So ten health, that's okay. Um, what you normally want to do is knock off the archers. But what I'm gonna do, I'll kill off the ranged first, because these guys are gonna have to run up to me. Um, so, checking their movement. Okay. You want to get close enough for them to to hit you. Five damage. Poison. Well, it looks like normal damage. Okay. Um, might poison these guys. From the looks of things, I'm probably gonna kill them all with magic. Um. Uh, I can give points to this guy to attack again. I don't think the archers will be able to do much damage, so. 
I'm gonna do what I can against these foot soldiers. Uh, kill off this guy. Um, I'll leave the archers for later. So here, hopefully, I can kill him. Yep, that's enough damage. Uh, I could attack, but I really don't want her to take any more damage, so I'm just gonna run it back. Vampire's got plenty of health, and he. I think they actually regens. Um, each time he attacks, so it should be okay. I'll let him tank. Now, I'll just pass this guy. Oh, there you go, see the regen? Just kill this guy. Should be set. So, with mage, generally you want to get. Area of effect, area of effect spells um, as early as you can. Remember, there was a button to to highlight items on the ground. What it was? Spacebar? No. Alt. I don't want to engage on my next battle until my mana is back on. Um, kind of annoying thing is your mana regen slowly while you're moving. Something. <coughs> so standing still is the best way to get your mana back. But who is bothered to stand still? Okay, so you get levels, you get extra leadership. So leadership's used to increase the amount of units you can hold in your army. Generally warrior class is the one that has higher leadership so you're relying on units whereas with mage you're obviously going to use your spells. Oh wow, got two levels. Okay, well I might get uh... I don't want these guys. I'll get these zombies for the time being so I can't get that much more anyway. There is one, oh, he's a hero. Equal in strength. Uh, I'm gonna leave him for the time being, because I'm not sure if I can actually kill him. I probably could, except I would lose units. Equal in strength, okay. You know what? I think it's time for me to get some. some intellect. Um, I'm gonna go scouting, and I'm gonna work my way down towards learning for the extra EXP. So any extra you know, spirit runes I get, I'm gonna invest into learning for the time being. If I get anything else, but with my spare magic, um, like I'll go for one. And curse. One spell damage, so. I'll eventually go down to concentration, chaos magic, and whatnot. Fire magic. A lot to get. Anyway, I'll get for the time being. Extra mine is good. Six mana. I might get one of each. So my mana is on thirteen. Means I can cast that uh, poison skull twice. He's got peasants and guardsmen. Um, the other ones have to run up, so the priest of light I can knock out pretty fast with the poison skull. So, oh, one more and I can do it. As long as I can cast it four times, I should be fine. Peasants are pretty crap, they're pretty slow as well. So. Let's 
So what I'll do, I'll kill these priests first, the novice. Um, I'll do the guards with next, and I'll just wait my guys here. Not gonna bother. Pass them onto the sky again. So if you notice, the closer they get, um, ranged attacks. See how that's a full arrow? It means I do most like maximum damage with my archer, whereas it's a broken arrow there. Um, because they're too far. So there are some skills that allow you to do damage um, maximally while they're at a range, but sometimes it's more efficient to attack them while they're closer. So he's hurt enough, so when he gets close I can just kill him with attack, so I'm just gonna wait, let him run forward. So now I can kill 5 to 7 of these guys. So she can just attack to kill him. Oh wow, okay, he's got evasion. <laughs> I can move this guy forward because the peasant can't reach and attack there. Don't evade, alright, good. So next turn, I think Poison Skull, this guy. See, they're not in attack range yet, so I can just run it back again. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Do as much damage to this guy as I can. 6 to 8, 4 to 6, 4 to 6, 6 to 8. And so when he gets close, I can just kill him with a normal attack. Uh, that's the plan anyway. So. Attack this bunch. There's less of them, so I don't think they can do any enough to kill me. I'll run my vampires up here because five's not enough to kill anyone. So if I poison skull this guy first, and attack on the vampires. Now I think the stack is weak enough so that they can't kill any of my units regardless of who they attack. I think counter attack will kill him now. One damage. It's so equal in strength, my ass. Okay, so a prisoner for a quest. I think it's pretty much you open up to get dragonfly monsters. I don't think they're that great. Invincible? Really? I'm <laughs> going that way. <sighs> XP and combat leadership. 5% XP. Oh, I forgot to be digging while I was moving. These guys are slightly stronger. You know what? I might go back and kill off that hero after all. Oh no! Okay. Uh, I'm gonna wait for my mana then. So the reason... Generally, you want to avoid any monsters that are stronger. But if I could kill the equal in strength without losing any units, I think I should be fine against this uh, snake. Um, I need mana so I can put them off. I think Thornwar is a melee type. Venomous Fighter, Swamp Snake, they're all melee. Um, I don't want to get too close so he can notice me. So as long as I can kite it, you should be fine. I'll do this what I've normally been doing. Um, just a matter of that mana now. So here we are, waiting for mana. I don't think you regen mana while doing this. It generally, yeah, so you gotta learn distortion magic, chaos magic before you can actually learn these. The scrolls you can use as a one off, um, but the scroll disappears after that. But you can use your magic crystals to learn the spell permanently um, if you know magic tier. God damn it. Right, I'm just gonna run. I will run for now. I'm not gonna collect these eggs for the time being. Invincible. Magic crystal, so that's used for learning spells. Um, go in here. No one up. Okay. Uh, go 
go back and explore the rest of that. General RPG. Um, practice. Do everything except for what you're meant to do. Everyone should. Damn. Yeah, they won't let me. I've got. Um, guys. I don't really want to avoid killing everything. Um, reason because we're missing out on EXP and things are just only going to get harder. So since I have full mana, I might as well try and kill this guy off. God, that was a bad move. Uh, okay. Snakes are obviously poison resistant. I'm going to try and kill these guys off. But I can. I'm gonna use my archers to try and kill the snakes then. Oh god. I might need to move my vampires up to tank. Oh, he's in attack range. To kill off enough of the snakes. Oh no! That's good. It's got regen. Two, two, three damage. Okay. I think off these guys is priority right now. What I might do, I'll move here so the spies can attack him. I want him to take tank as much as possible. I'll take the counter attack off this guy. So. Oh crap! So I forgot vampires have a no counter attack ability. I want to defend my archers since they have the least health, 10 each, so they can die pretty easily. Check our zombie there. I think I should be okay for the time being. I need a non poison skill to make this useful. Because these guys pretty much can't do shit anymore. Anyway. These snakes, I kill off as much as I can. My archers are protected, so I'm gonna leave this guy here and just kill off as much as I can. Just taking a beating. Okay, so I can take one movement and attack. So I want to get out of this spider range. So I'm gonna move down here. Kill off some of these snakes. These guys can tank pretty well. My vampire should regen this turn. Okay. I think I'm in the clear. I don't think I'll lose anything. Let's continue doing what I'm doing. Just use this guy to kill off the strongest stack. Best kill potential. I'm, not, I'm actually not going to attack this guy because I don't want the snakes to have movement to access killing the banshee, so I'm going to defend. Okay. So when the snake stacks are lower, I might run this guy back as well. Oh, actually, I'll defend. The zombie is close to actually losing the stack. Uh, spider shouldn't be enough to kill anything, so I'm gonna attack this snake. And I'll plague this snake. Uh, because this guy's got access to skeletons, I'm gonna move him here and defend. Oh, good. He's attacking the vampire. Oh, this is excellent. So, I don't think poison hopefully it doesn't kill the zombie with the poison. Just kill this guy. Damn! Okay, whatever, it's just one zombie. Let's get run, push him through, I'll kill off this guy. Okay. 
got enough mana for one more. We'll finish it off this round. There we go. Oh well, one zombie loss isn't too bad. Okay, that wasn't even much EXP. Whatever, I'm just gonna continue. Other stacks are stronger anyway. Let's go another way. So, I suspect this guy is invincible here because he's protecting a treasure there. You know what? I'm gonna play it risky. Oh god! Okay, no, he's not protecting a treasure. Onwards we go! New screen, I'm just gonna save. Look at the Wolven Tunnel. But I think they want me to avoid fighting anything. Oh wow, okay. So they let me into a Dwarven Town, despite my obvious uh, undead appearance. People can be very trusting, it seems. Is it these houses? I guess they're scared of me. Why? I just want to be friendly. Hello? Oh, maybe other way. What? What sorcery is this? Oh, there we go. Wasn't even worth it. Uh, I think there's a path the other way. Whatever. Okay, there was. <laughs> I have no choice. <clears throat> be useful later. I think if it's anything like the other ones, you get like a flying mount. Let's freaking skip all this terrain obstacle. I'll go left first. Seems like a lesser path. Okay, whatever. I have a feeling. I don't know. An ominous feeling crossing this bridge. Don't kill me. Invincible. I'm invincible. Okay. Meet your fellow sufferers in. Army. Oh. Apparently, these guys are welcoming, welcoming of us undead demons. There's a map. Why don't I use the map? Okay, maybe they opened the other gate. There was no tavern around there. Oh, this is backdrop. <coughs> okay. Dragon back in. I think that's what they said. Oh yeah. CD like that. I don't really care much for the story, so I'm just gonna skip all this. I think those are the other heroes I could have picked. Yep, did you guys get all that? Oh god. Yeah, 
da 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 da. Oh, this should be an easy kill. I want to I get this treasure. So let's go in bat mode. Increase my movement. Oh, rune. That's excellent. So this thing attacks anything close, you know, close radius of it. So you know what? Let them get close. This guy, 8 to 12. My vampire can take that, so I'm going to leave that guy there. Oh, wait. These guys move really fast with that stupid running ability. But this thing should hurt one of them. Wow, it's gone on health. Um, oh wait. Wait. Okay. Should be good. There's one left there. They can't reach me in the next turn anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill them for me. Wow, okay. That hurts. 50 health. Yeah, that should be good. The bat form is faster, but it's also weaker. There's no point really, I don't think the skeletons will do much against this. But poison skull wood. Easy. <laughs> Every experience to represent that. <clears throat> Quest mark there. Reach the black gate. Salvation of the black gate. If you say so, where is thy black gate? Maybe it's down this way. It does look like more dwarf town though. Salvation! Oh yes! Ooh, this one looks more like home. Werewolf. Come on, faster! It's convenient having an elevator between enemy and foe. It is what you need it for. Like authority. <clears throat> Always guarded. Wow. Disappeared. Okay. Let's do some exploring. Aw. Guess I'd have to loop around for that one. Open sesame. All these slow ass things. Equal strength. Well, I've got no choice. Need full mana. So I'm gonna wait here until I get 20, 25 at least and cast it five times. Where's this skull? Maybe I should use the runes. Don't have any other chaos magic yet. Alright, let's do this. Die. Oh, he's got so many units. Okay. Don't think any of these are ranged either. They're similar to what I was fighting before. Okay. Kill off. Move my guy here to tank. Oh, my treasure! So pretty much same same tactic. Just uh, kill off the larger stack so they can't have a killing blow in one attack. I'll let my vampire tank. It's just lucky the hero doesn't have any uh, abilities to kill my units straight off as well. I might use 
that's this that's this guy. Can't reach him. Give up. Wait. So as they approach, I can do an attack before the end of his turn. And regen it at the start of my turn. Okay, he's got haste. Might be able to reach him. Okay, maybe not. Scares me. So it's pretty much this 9 stack. These two 9 stacks that could potentially do damage now. The reason I move this guy up is because I don't want them to get close enough to the weaker units. So if they get close to him and they keep attacking him, then they're going to be grounded there. Which is plan. This guy up. I can reach my Banshee. This guy can reach Skeleton. Um, but this has to be the next one. So Banshee is in range of this night stack, so what I might do... Oh man, that was such a low attack. Uh, is move my Banshee... Okay, so only this guy can attack my Banshee. Unless he moves forward and lets this guy attack as well. I'm going to defend. Vampires? Okay. Vampires weren't as tanky. It's the walls. They're only two stack, but they still hurt, eh? Oh, you know what? Four or nothing now. Kill off this stack. I blame that poison skull. I'm doing two to seven kills, and it takes a lower, lower route. Ah, uh, what a shame. That was lucky. Would have attacked. They're gonna attack my skeletons. Because they're so close, my skeletons do a melee attack, so it's not gonna do as much. Um, I have the choice of attacking or defending. If I could attack and at least kill one, it'd be worth it. So I'm gonna defend. Okay, they're going for my vampire. Vampire might die. Oh, lucky. So, I think I better kill these dwarves now. Why? Why am I so unlucky? Whatever. These units are replaceable anyway, so I don't know. Shouldn't be so scared of losing them for the time being. Should just be focused on winning this battle. Um, yeah. Once I find like a NPC that sells or hires undead units, more suited towards kiting, um, I think it'd be okay. Oh, that's very lucky. I'm gonna regen that. So on two health. Oh well, I think it's uphill from here. I've got no more mana though. For poison skull, so the rest is just attacking now. It works out okay now, because I kill off this guy so he does less damage. No! Shit. Okay, maybe it's not as okay as I thought. Protect my skeleton archers. Might be able to win by fashion, but these dwarves are freaking tanky. 
need one more mana for my poison skull. I don't have my rage skills yet. Oh damn. Oh that's okay. I can run him back and shoot. I can still get range damage. Well I've got that one mana now. Off. On this guy and hope for maximal damage. Yeah, okay, that's good. The rest should be okay. It's just the one guy. Come on, just die. Why you have to be so tanky for? Okay. I don't think there's any way I could have won that battle without casualties. So. Once I get AoE spells, it'd be a lot easier. focus on going ranged units. Uh, these guys are ranged. No. These guys are... Bro. Kind of ranged. Actually, that's an ability. Um, these guys have one spell ranged, so I go with those. Okay. Well, I don't really want this guy's and archers for now, so there's not enough for them to be useful. Same with the ghosts and the zombies. So, I might dismiss these guys. Put this guy in reserve. leadership now anyway. Um Okay, hero He's still invisible. Yeah, I might just kill him now. One by one. They're ranged. I've never seen this guy before. Still ranged. Whatever. Oh, it's the same thing. So this fireball, since it does damage to stuff around it, 
one cell around, so I'm just going to cast it on this guy. Eyes burn. Oh, he's got regen. Ouch. Kill one. Pass it back to this guy. You can fireball again, that'd be good. Cancels the sleep out as well. That's actually really good. I'll kill off the ranged. Well, they've got so many troops for, for higher, so I don't really mind losing the troops right now. Um, the only thing is, it costs money. To replace them. That's finite. I still want to minimize my losses. No way. Damn it. Sky, oh, it's not in range. It's a good thing about them sending one unit up. You just clear them out. Ah, oh, I think they've put me. E mode, meaning they actually just attack and do their own thing. So I have no control. It's good though, because normally they charge. They tend to charge up when they're in fear. He doesn't counter attack now, which is good. But he has a regen, so you don't want him to. Gold. Back. Okay, I'll make sure to keep this guy in my team. A little bit of gold will help. Will help uh, replace troops and the money I've spent wasting on them. So Fawn's ranged as well. Well, I went into this battle without full mana, so bad idea. There's two others as well. Just annoying having to stand around. Waiting for minor regen. But I found uh, previous uh, titles as well. Mage generally starts pretty slow. Um, whereas Warrior has an easier time in the beginning and it gets... Actually Warrior is just easy all the way out. Whereas Mage is, is a bit more challenging in the beginning. Um, and it gets progressively easier. Towards the end when you get like the hacks AoE spells. Pretty much clear the board before you even rely on your minions. But yeah, once again, it will help once I get my rage skills up, because um, that will help me kill as well as with my mana. So let's do this search thing again. Oh, that's awesome. So that means he can't retaliate. That's good. This guy has a lot of health. But can't retaliate. Oh, it's got regen. Whatever. As soon as I got that 1.2k gold, I actually don't mind losing units at all now. So that, that's pretty much going to replace everything. What's that? Pretty much it just means I have to kill them all to get out. Replace all my units. Actually... Yeah, I think that 1.2k pretty much covered everything. I might have spent a little bit extra. <coughs> oh, my mana! Damn it! Okay, whatever. It's gonna be all units then. The walls. Much. Oh, Malay. 
Having mana would have been excellent in this pot in this fight. Uh, I'll wait for them to come to me. Burn should be able to knock out one stack. Next one. Got one. One, two, two kills. Good enough. So, I'll taunt. I won't taunt. I can just attack without retaliation. Taunting is, however, useful. If they get close enough to attack a, a unit I don't want them to attack, I can taunt it so then they ignore that unit and go straight for this guy when he's not in range. So, for example, this guy, oh, can't taunt them. Sucks. What is this? Can't hear it. Not in range. My unit's actually strong enough to fight this. Shit. What about that? I'll bring this guy closer to me so he ignores this guy. That was good. Actually pushed him away so he couldn't reach the skeletons for an attack. The skeletons get first strike. Kill off some stacks so they receive less damage in return. Let's trade blows here. Let's scavenge some gold back. Put him down. Just scavenge as much as I can. To replace all that money I'm spending. Kill this guy. Scavenger him at least. With a zombie. Damn. Scavenge this turn then. Okay, one stack left. Might keep this stack alive. I can keep scavenging. My oh, skeletons might be standing on a dead stack. Oh yeah, they are. I'm gonna slide. Scavenge again. Ah. Adrenaline. How does one get adrenaline? Defend. Defend. Let's 
see if I have enough. Yes. Okay, so I think that was that's good. So the other swordsman is really close to me right now, so I'm gonna try and get units as soon as I can. Come on, come on, come on. Yep. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I actually made a profit because I was at eight k before. Um, so that scavenge is really good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run a bit so I can get at least some mana before I fight him again. Please. I think if I get 20 mana, it should be fine. Um, it should get progressively faster. Oh, the other thing I noticed is um, if you have rage, your mana region is a, mu a lot slower. So as they're inversely related. So if my rage was at zero, I think I'd be at full mana by now, to be honest. Um, but I'm just going to wait till I have 20 mana and I'll go attack this guy. <clears throat> My morale's all neutral. Okay, that's enough. Let's do this. Got three range stacks. Healers first. Kills. They're pretty much targeting my ranged as well. I'll burn both of them. Now one's burnt there, one's burnt there. I don't think range do that much, so I'll kill off the the. Oh, that was a good one. I want to keep this stack alive as much as I can, um, so they can scavenge. But I'll bring the range guys closer, so I'll taunt. I could leave them actually. They they do jack shit damage. They revive though. I don't. I think that skill is limited. In how many they can revive. But I'll kill this stack so I can scavenge them. <clears throat> Make a profit as I go. But I've kind of blocked this guy in, moving my zombie there. So I might commit this zombie over to the side. Kill these guys. I want to keep my adrenaline. Let's defend this guy. I might move my zombie up so I can open up a slot for this guy to attack. These guys actually have holy damage, I think, so it does extra towards my undead. Okay, so I've frozen, so I'm gonna move him anyway. Oh, I can't even reach. Let's weaken these stacks. I think with the minor region skill, I can probably get one more off in this battle. Is that it? Kill this stack. It's ranged. In fact, there's no point attacking to get it retaliated on. <clears throat> Can't do any damage. Oh, 
Oh, my invasion. I should probably charge one of my melee guys up. Damn, how long does it last? Kill this guy. Oh, well, actually, does decent damage. <coughs> Thank you, nice tech. Oh, come on. And once that stack goes, I'll scavenge it. Oh no, I got heal. Why do you have heal? Oh good. Not good at all. Come on. Evasion. <coughs> you know what? It doesn't look good for me as it is right now. I might die. This guy is, doesn't have enough damage to do anything. These misses don't help at all. I'm gonna run him up. Maybe I can scavenge my own corpse. Kill this guy ASAP. Keep this guy alive to fireball them. Huh, I can scavenge my own corpse. Scavengers next. Let's attack my zombies. I think if I can get one more mana, yes. Gotta kill this guy. Two deaths, please. Oh. Good enough. Uh, not much damage, but everything counts. <clears throat> I don't mind them attacking my zombies. I'm gonna leave this guy alive because one of them, one stack's not gonna do that much. I'm gonna leave this guy here so this guy can't move in with your range attack. Stacks left there. Let's die. There we go. Scavenge that one and run up now. And scavenge this one, this one, and kill this guy. It's just the tedious process of doing that now, though. Yes, 1500. So I might run up and get that archer. This guy can fireball this guy to death. Oh, excellent. Oh, there's two corpses there though. I don't know if I can scavenge both if it's like that. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. Actually, come on. This is, if he's forced to attack this guy, the counterattack is probably going to kill him. And just defending until I can scavenge everything. Yeah, got rid of that other corpse. Oh no, he didn't. 
That's mad. Okay, I think that's it. Let's kill him. Kinda scary. So it's got fireball as well. Kept him. Allegiance. Now evil. Give me a quest. This is hero. Low damage. I'm gonna leave my room at because there are some order and distortion magic that does damage. But I'm gonna leave this one here. Um, tune in next game.